it's Owen back here with another Adobe tutorial and today I wanted to just discuss something that um, I didn't know when I first went to film school quite how to do um, efficiently um, and that is linking audio files with video files in your timeline so if we go ahead here and open Adobe Premiere um, let's go to window workspace assembly we'll go to the assembly because that's what the the workspace that you usually use when you're assembling your footage and in here the project I'll double click and um, we're going to open some files so um, I'm just going to go down here and I have these two folders and we'll import the audio folder it may take a second Okay, we've got the audio folders imported. Now we're going to go ahead and select all of our video um, footage that we shot. So essentially, you know, when you're you're asked to edit a short film or any film, you know, maybe a feature length, um, you'll be given audio files from the audio guy. You'll be given all the footage from um, the DP or whoever whoever's handing that footage off to you on the card. Uh, and it'll generally be in some kind of uh, folder like this, audio footage. Um, here you can see the footage is broken down into three days, one, two, and three. Um, so let's go in day one. You see there's a whole bunch of random files. Um, let's draw this out. So there's a whole bunch of files, and each file has a slate. Um, so it says, uh, you know, what shot, what take that was. So if we go into, uh, let's say, day two, on my script notes, um, it says day two. Uh, I have a file. I have a file that's four O's and a nine. So um, I'm just going to link this one first. Okay, so I search that file. O O O O nine. Here's the file, and I'm just going to drag this and drop it into the sequence. There you can see me um, acting in this scene because one of our extras didn't show up, and. Um, let me just drag this back across so it's a little easier to have a look at. Um, you can see here all this audio is the audio that was shot on camera. And so we want to get the good audio linked with this. Scene 2F, take two. Doesn't sound that great. Scene 2F, take two. Now on my script notes, um, you should be getting script notes so that you can link this stuff. Um, it says that the, f the file for the audio is 0065. So let's go ahead into our audio folder, drag this out, 0065, and we can just search this. Okay, here it is. So we're just going to drag this, drop it, and scroll it underneath. Now, essentially, you can see it's the same, but listen, it's not matched up. So you can hear um, the director saying action twice in that shot because it's not linked up, but it is the correct footage. Now what you used to have to do is go here to see where the clapper is, and you can see that little high mark there, and you would drag this one over until it was exactly the same, maybe that's good, no? That was it, right there, right there. Um, and it doesn't match up identical because um, there's only so many frames a second and um, the audio's recorded much more. Um, but, um, so now you can hear this is essentially linked up. Scene 2F, take two. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Not all of them will be, um, you know, some of them will match up perfectly, but when you delete, right click here, unlink, and we delete the original audio, um, it, we have we're left with the good audio, and we can hear exactly how it sounds. So let's make this big. Scene two F, take two. And that looks pretty good. The clap, the clapper hit right about the right time. Action. You two together? And I don't know you, right? Okay. So um, you can see that's linked up. But let's say. Um, that it's really difficult to ascertain where the clapper is, um, where the original audio is. 
what, what do you do? Well, um, a little trick is you highlight both of these, right click and synchronize. When we click on synchronize, we have this audio option. Now it's not available in CS6. This is Adobe CC. I got the trial version. Um, so I could show you guys this, but in Adobe CS6, you would have to do what I just showed you. You'd have to uh, match it up, you know, slowly and it, and it takes some time. But uh, with this, we just click OK. And that should be matched up. Yeah, it is matched up. Let me um, let me move it because I don't think I moved it. So let's go here, right click, synchronize, match it up. You see how that audio just jumped across. And when we zoom in, Take two. it's as perfectly matched as it will be. So that's a nice little trick. Now, one thing that I noticed on one of the earlier versions of Adobe CC was that sometimes when you did this, the audio at the bottom here would, instead of you know jumping up to where it needs to be synced, would just jump and go like really far away. And um, I'd hit Control Z, bring it back, and and I would be confused. Now I found out um, the reason for this is because when you link the footage, and it's actually I think it, it's a it was a bug, and it's been fixed in the newest version of Adobe CC, but the audio here you need to have it to the left of the video file here on the right. So if you had it like this and you linked it up, right click, synchronize, then that bug would happen where this footage would just jump way off of the screen. Um, but if you always um, link up, depending, you know, if you have the older version of Adobe CC, make sure the audio footage here is, uh, you know, a little, a, at least a little to the left of where it needs to be. Um, and you can right click, synchronize, and go ahead and do that. And it, and it should always jump to the right spot. If it doesn't, you may have to go by hand and look for that clapper. Sometimes that clapper isn't, um, you know, visible for the machine, you know, the program to figure that out. Um, but yeah, you know, that's that's why we have clappers. That's why we make that loud noise. Um, Hopefully this uh, helps you to you know to know that, that that's how you link audio footage, and um, with your script notes you can then once you have it linked. So I'm just going to show you this. Right click, synchronize. Okay, make just make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, then I'm going to highlight all of these. Well, I'm actually going to delete this one. I'm going to highlight both of these. Right click, merge clips. Okay, now this is scene 2e let me just double check on this make this bigger or no 2f take 2 so i'm going to right click here merge cl merge clips and we're going to call this 2f 2f take 2 and i'm just going to hit okay and then i'll delete this off of my timeline and now i have the 2f take 2 with the merged correctly scene 2f take 2 so this is is now a linked file with the correct sound and you can go ahead and do this with all of your print takes that's what I would usually do and then I'd right click here do new bin I would call this prints and uh, I would put in all the audio and um, all the footage into the prints and then I would have a new bin and I would call it merged prints and this would be the one with the, the file that we just had and we would just put it in here and it, it would work really well that way you know you want to be organized um, so hopefully this helps you understand um, and once you once you've gotten all your merge prints together you know in your folder they're all labeled 2f take 2 or you know 3a take 1 uh, whatever it is um, whatever the prints were listed on your um, on your sheet and then with those uh, takes you can start editing from your merged print folder and create your your short film or your, or your feature or whatever it is um, hopefully this helps. Um, hopefully you learned a little bit about how to link audio and video files together, merge them, and, uh, and then you can edit um, from a new, a new folder like this one. Um, I will be coming out with another tutorial in two weeks. But until then, just have fun you know, editing in Adobe. Cheers.